Blinky blinky. There's going to be a film about Sam this week. Oh, not another one. <laughs> it all started working on a series in my dad's shed. I followed my dreams and joined the Marines, serving in Afghanistan. Defenders were always part of me. So here we are, building custom machines with my awesome team in Shropshire. We are Maker. Hi guys, welcome to episode 7 of our YouTube channel. I'm Dave and I'm going to talk you through what we've been up to since the last episode. So, since last episode, we fitted this exhaust system to the Outlander Range Rover Classic. So this is a straight pipe system with a rear back box only. So this will give the ultimate V8 noise. For those of you that remember from our Instagram page, this is Project Pig. So this vehicle came to us totally shot. So bodywork scruffy, but we're gonna keep that. Customer wants patina, but the chassis needed some love. So the customer wanted his chassis and mechanicals totally revamping. So we gave him a set of Puma axles, fully rebuilt with heavy duty anti-roll bars. We've given him these lovely turrets from Adrenaline. We've given him Bill Stein shock absorbers. The customer wanted some extra punch in this 330D swap, so we gave him, this is a hybrid VNT turbo, billet wheel, extended tip technology. Our friends at GB Turbos in Liverpool build these turbos for us. These are the, just, the, just the nuts. This is our own paint. We had this formulated by Leckler. These guys are local to us, so supporting our local businesses. We shop last this in-house. We gave this car the full work, so bare chassis, fully shop lasted, 360 spin, top side, bottom side, sides and then we paint it in this lovely satin coated paint. So we've gave the Dirty 130 these lovely 18 inch SMC wheels. And if you can spot that there, uh, that's some lovely work that Sam's come up with. So we've gone for a slash cut, three inch exhaust tip. If you come under here, so the underside guys, we've given this car a three inch turbo back straight through system. We want these gases to get away from this turbo. This is running a massive stage three VNT Venom turbo. And you can see these beautiful pie cut welds, fully TIG welded in house at 316 stainless. We're going for the Badger style look on this 130. Something totally different that no one else has done before. Look at the back axle, we'll give it loads of truss work. Some nice, big AP brakes and the 37 inch BF Goodrich tires that are just super cool. Right, so this 110 came to us from Kingsman Editions. It was in a bit of a sorry state, so we've corrected a lot of different things. So Tom wanted some AP brakes, so we gave him the full work. So front and rear APs. <laughs> that was inevitable. <laughs> So this drawer system's got a water pump in there, as you just found out. <laughs> it's got onboard electrics, so if you want to run things like chargers and bits and bobs, they're currently not wired in, but that's on our to-do list. So you've got onboard air, thanks to the ARB, we've got a split charge system to run the inverter. So we gave him the brakes on the front as well. We gave him six part 360 mil rotors. This is just the ultimate package. This is 
An Explorer 2. We're giving every build that's going to go off-road one of these winches. Oh. And just look at them, they're just fantastic. You've got air-free spool, loads of power, runs on red winches, it's ox motor. One of their leading motors in the industry. Kingsman asked us to install this draw system into their car. This is going to be their demonstrator. These drawers are going to be full of shotguns and booze. How many blokes it takes to put a gutter up? <laughs> So this is Richard's Land Rover. They supply all of our little spares and consumables. What are you here for? So the shooting drawer, that's the missing part of the puzzle, the filler mix. So Ali sort of just two of them out for us. How long have you been going now, Al? 1960. <laughs> and whenever Dave's stuck, I help him out, or at least try to, yes. Come here, Wally. So this is powder coat in Shropshire. Andy here does all of our powder coating. So anything we need vapor blasting or powder coating, this is the process that it comes through. Can this be ready for Friday? What colour? Pink. Satin. Pink. Satin. It's going on a very, very expensive gun drill, mate. Just be wary. These here, they're hidden, right? So, but they've got a plastic, you can see there where they come behind it. I feel those with the... Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, hello. 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 You can't have too much water. Yeah. You've got to have the right, only 1% of cleaner. I'm just going to up to Richard's just so we can show everyone that we work with, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Forces this from the high pressure water into the material. Gives a great finisher for the powder coat to adhere to. So, yeah, it's not too any of that. It's pretty rough. It's off our full. So, it also offers ceramic coating, something that we do on all our manifolds and exhaust systems. So guys, this is James. He's been with us for uh, how long? Have you been in there? Too long. Um, <laughs> two and a half years. Yeah. So he's just finished blasting this Project One back, ready for the next level of paint. What we've been doing here? Any areas where things have been bolted on? There's been corrosion underneath or on the aluminium there, or any steel corrosion on the side runners. We've sandblasted it all to get rid of all the corrosion, so it's a nice, clean, new surface, ready to go for prep and paint. Cool. And you've been, so you've been sandblasting this today, is that what this is in here? Yes, that's what it is. That's what we blast it with. It's a, a fine grit that comes out at, with compressed air, and it pretty much, if you look, that's the, that's the surface that it would have been before, and then after you sandblast it, it goes to that, so you've got rid of all the paint and all the corrosion. Once this has been done, it'll go, go over to the paint shop, and then they'll be able to do all the prep, ready to, ready to paint it in. I think they're going blue this one, so it'll be, they'll do standard all back, fill where it needs to be filled, etc., and then get it all in paint. I said, I said about 
start now, is it? and he said he's just going to go up to the top of the Going down then, Sam. I am um, making a panel to mount this airline fitting and water fitting for the spare fuel filler neck in the in the Kingsman truck. Did you weld the right hand here, Sam? No, no, I'm good. Uh, so it's got it's got a welfare unit in the back that supplies water and compressed air for many reasons. Uh, I'm just going to try and hide it in here. <laughs> these for the R's and R. It's going to make it sound mega. So basically, look at the back of here. You've got that boring exhaust system. They're basically going to sit like this. I think they've got to go like this. I bought them now, haven't I? Oh, it's paper. No. Sounds like a man who knows what he's doing. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Come on then, Louis. What's happening? We're going to put the inner wing now. Don't say F, Louis. So this is Hugo in his... It's not quite LS3 powered machine. You reckon Hugh? He's massive reverse. So this is the new recruit. Hugo Lee. Thanks for watching guys. That's all you need. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah. I'll get James to do the outro. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to be out in this beautiful machine this weekend, having some fun. I'll be taking all the work boys, giving them a well-earned bit of R&R. &R. So make sure you tune in because it's going to get muddy.